Okay guys, so today I am working on a four foot by five foot canvas. And um, what we're gonna do is I'm not gonna get on the floor to layer up the cups. I'm gonna take you over to the table. We'll layer up four cups, um, three of which are uh, 16 ounce, I believe. Hold on one second. I believe so, yeah, 16 ounce solo cups. And then this is a 24 ounce one. Um, so we're going to layer up these. I've got some of the base down to go. And um, yeah, so let's go over to the table. We're going to layer up the cups and then we'll return you to this position. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to go over with my colors real quick here. Um, this color I self-mixed and it's Floetrol um, along with some Metallic Cyan by Global. I then added, where is it? Here it is. Uh, some Ice Blue Metallic by Folk Art. And then I used also, mixed in here, is White Flash by Color Shift. So those um, are the colors that created this bit right here. I wonder if I can get in here to show you guys the color. It's so pretty. Uh, it's kind of turquoise. It's not exactly light blue. It's got a lot going on with it, and I really love it. Um, over here, this is 24K gold. I have Folk Arts Fire Opal. It's metallic. I'm not sure if we're going to use it. I've been thinking about it. Um, what else? I have turquoise. Phthalo Turquoise by Goldens. I also have Goldens Prussian Blue that we'll be using. And I have mixed up right here. Let me just put the rest from this cup in there, or not, um, is Necrodone Nickel Azo Gold. And those are the colors that we will be using today. So what I'm gonna do is put some gloves on. I do have some red, so I might throw it in there, but I'm kind of hesitant about that. I don't want pink. And um, yeah, so anywho, these are the colors. And I won't use these. I don't know, next to each other. So I'll use the Fire Opal rarely, only just to add a little bit of a metallic shine somewhere on uh, the canvas. And who knows, maybe I'll throw red in there. I'm not quite sure. This piece is going to be going on a navy blue wall. And uh, hopefully, and we're gonna just do a bunch of straight, straight pours on it um with a little bit of white negative space or cream negative space that i got going on here anyway let's get you guys down to the canvas um actually not yet because we are actually layering our cups aren't we? all right i have all my lighting set up over there i'm just gonna move this canvas out of the way and we are gonna start layering up these cups they're going to be layered up differently, not all the same necessarily. But we're going to get a couple of gloves on and get moving. All right. So we'll move these colors out of the way. So we can focus on what we're doing here. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down the side of each cup. And then I'm gonna come in with the gold. And I'm gonna come in with one more with the gold. And then I think I'm gonna come in with this pretty Paley blue turquoise bit that I got going on there. 
And then I'm gonna drizzle the gold on top of that. All right. So this 24 ounce cup is gonna obviously take longer to fill up. So what I will do is do just this right now. Gosh, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> hmm. out of there. I feel like I'm all thumbs right now. Uh, I'm gonna actually, nope, I'm gonna Those are my cups and I'm gonna bring them over one by one and we'll get you down on the canvas. All right, so I have all my cups over here. Let me get my torch. I'm actually gonna bring over some of this blue. Now I'll leave it on the edge here, just in case. And I'm gonna have some of this house paint mixture. There we go. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna leave it just like that because what I wanna do is leave the rest of this right here to coat corners if I have to, to get things to stretch. So we are going to start
actually gonna just come in with some of the blue and I'm gonna cover this corner. I don't want it to completely fold over itself. I'll just leave that there. So, love what's going on here. I'm loving in here. I'm gonna get my chopstick because I do want to make some movement in it. Alright, so we're going to start moving this around. I think we're going to go kind of want to I love this area, so I don't know. We'll see. I'll just go where I feel. And I like to go this way.
Okay, chillins. All right, so here are the wet results. Oh, I love this piece. Um, it's got all these beautiful lines in here. And I really am excited to see how this one dries. I'm, like trying to get around everything. And I was gonna like pour over this area, but I actually really, really love it. Um, I just love what it's doing right there. It kind of brings a little bit of brightness to the piece. But, uh, and I love, this is the Fire Opal Gold and Quinequidone Nickel Azo Gold. And it's got the coolest lines in here also. I don't know, I think this piece is gonna look really, really good on this navy wall. Um, and go from there. Okay, so. You didn't see all of the detail work I put into this um, because, you know, you got to fast forward eventually. Nobody has hours a day to watch somebody paint, um, but wouldn't that be nice? Anywho, we are going to see how this dries over the course of the weekend. This is take two of the same pour, but the first pour, I didn't really like how it turned out, so we poured again. Anywho, you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for hanging in there with me. Bye for now.